Hello, how are we? Uh, not been here for a while, have I? Um, generally, because stuff's been going on. So let's see. So what I'm doing now is a little video to wrap up the year, uh, even though, bang my mic, even though I haven't been here for a bit. Um, because, yeah, I think I just want need to wrap up the whole little project and sort of assess where it went wrong and where it went right. Um, so I can't even remember. I should have looked, really. I think it was July was the last one I did, or June. Uh, it sort of went a bit downhill from there. So let's first of all look at why it went a bit downhill. Um, well, at the time, actually, I, I was really busy about to go on a holiday, I think was the thing. So I was sort of a bit pushed for time anyway, whilst, whilst trying to do the streaming and other things, try and get back into that. So it's just a time factor thing. And quite frankly, I was all like, oh, it's going to be all right. I'll, I'll have a month off or a quiet month sort of thing get back on it because i was quite pleased where we got up to um you know we're starting to do a 2d game learn about that um but yeah then after that it was getting onto jobs because i was only on temporary contract for a year and then a job came up that i really really wanted really tried for so i had to quite rightly focus on that um and yeah i was working on that through september really and it was the same applying for another job because my contract would have ended in november so it was a bit stressful and obviously having to focus quite rightly on getting a job because this is just a little hobby thing I wanted what to do. Um, so yeah, I did that. So didn't get the job that I was actually really trying for, a really proper one, but I got carried on with my job and made it permanent, which is fine. Still love my job, anyone listening? Um, so that's quite good. So yay me. Obviously, that's just a great achievement in itself, I think, with this whole year that's gone on. Um so yeah, that was good. And then I just got to the point of, I think the year had taken out of me. Um, I thought, I just want to do some streaming, be a bit more sociable. And even in the end of that, by December time, I was like, I can't be bothered doing that because I was just, the year had done me in, I think. Nothing too bad, but you know, when you just get to the point of, I can't be bothered. I just want to sit on my tards and play my game, get immersed in that, um, not deal with the rest of it. So that's where it sort of went. I was hoping sort of October time when I sort of got my job sorted that I would have jumped back into it. But like I say, just just stuff happened. That's let's face it, once you sort of drop the ball, you're away with it. I was hoping I'd got all oh, two months but I can crack out another game, even if it's two D one before the end of the year, and then I'll feel like I've done something. But it never happened. And and that's why life just gets in the way. Um I mentioned before I felt a bit down and when your body's telling you that you, you just got to sort of stop, otherwise it, it gets down here and gets too stressful. So there's no point in that. So that's where it sort of went wrong um, and sort of how it ended. Um, but I wanted this video to look at the positives as well. So if I look at it holistically as a year, how it sort of went, well, I think I did quite well at the start. I, I, I sort of learnt the course, um, which was quite good. The only sort of, well, let's all get my thoughts coherent here um where i like it really the positives of having done this is i actually did learn some coding okay and i made a game i showed you the little mini games it was annoying i couldn't really upload them for you to have a play to get feedback on um but i sort of made them as i went along doing this little course online um the only regret from courses i could have gone off um done a bit more study and sat a sort of an exam obviously you'd have to pay for the exam and that's why i didn't do it at the time i was trying to and then stuff kicked off sort of august time and i never went back to it so that would have been it would have been nice if i got a sort of little qualification out of it even if it's a basic one um but i was happy and what the other thing was i showed you that game didn't i um night watch was that what it called i think it called it and i was really happy with that because i actually thought to myself how I wanted it to be, the style, how I wanted it to play. I sort of had a little plot behind it, what was going on, which I sort of explained in that video back in June, I want to say, might have been May. Um, but I had some problems with it, and it was just annoying. I think I would have felt, A, a lot better if I'd got that working, just that little three-level thing, and I actually got it working. I would have been like, yay, I've made a game, and I would have felt a lot whole whole lot better about the project um, but I didn't you know and I knew what the problems were and then I just cracked on with something else thinking I'll find the answers along the way um, which I never did obviously so um, from the positives from it if I haven't been doing these videos and getting lovely support from yourselves nice people thank you very much um, I wouldn't have done any of it to be fair um, it's a bit of a shame I mean, I did about six months of it, didn't I? I learned something from it. Let's look at the positives. I learned something from it and I made something. It didn't really work, but I made something. Um, and I can carry on with that if I want. 
Um, I'm not going to <laughs> for now, for now. Um, and that's why it's a bit annoying I didn't have a little qualification here because it could have helped me get a job or spurred me on a bit more. And I can go back to do that. But seeing as I've had the past few months and I've just not touched it, I thought it doesn't matter if I don't touch it for a bit longer because I've still got to relearn everything again. Um, so that's going to wrap up this one, this whole little project, and I'll start a new one next year. New challenge, new year. Uh, where hopefully, you know, it's not going to be rosy at the start with all the stuff going on in the world, but hopefully it will get a lot better. And once that sorts itself out and there's less stresses in the world from that, um, might be a bit better. Who knows? There's always stresses in life. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So a new project next year, something to do. Um, but still making videos, so watch this channel and enjoy. So all I can say as a wrap up, if you watch all these videos in the future or say take away from it that um, you can actually do something, can't you? And I don't think there's anything wrong. I've achieved something that I would not have normally achieved um, had I not bothered to do this and sort of have a bit of accountability. It was a bit stressful along the way from that, but it's, it's that's what spurs you on, isn't it? And I don't think... If the world had been normal and I hadn't been had children at home all the time instead of school and things like that, um, those challenges have been a normal world. Uh, I probably would have coached with that stress every now and, and produced more. But hey, I didn't. That's what the world throws at you. Um, but I'm happy I did something and made something um, out of it. So hopefully you can take away from this if you want out of anything a life lesson that you can achieve something. It might not be a great goal that you wanted to achieve, like I wanted to make a really good game. Um, but you can learn something and it might take a bit longer if I really wanted, I could carry on with it. Um, but I'm not, <laughs> I'll, I'll hopefully go back to it, but I want to try something else first, a bit to do with video. Um, because I really enjoy doing that as well. So I'm just feeling that's where my head is at the moment. Um, so anyway, I'll stop rambling as always. Uh, but hope to see you soon on my next project. And uh, thank you very much for watching and supporting me on this one. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.